Hello and welcome to another Pico TV how-to program. This time we're going to be taking a closer look at the narrow gauge SM32 range of track plus a couple of other essential items. With spring and summer just around the corner and for those of you who might be considering a garden layout this film is aimed at you. As you can see Pico has a great range of turnouts, flexible and set track for your garden and indoor diorama projects. So what is SM32? SM32 models are built to a scale of 16mm to the foot and run on track gauge of 32mm. The scale is popular with modelers running live steam in the garden or even battery powered and remote controlled locomotives. The Pico SM32 track system is produced using code 200 nickel rail. This is the same track as O scale, but the actual scale of the model is in fact twice that of gauge 1 at 1 to 19, so they represent narrow gauge running on 32mm gauge track. As well as the Pico streamline and set track components and some useful accessories, many track components are available in the individual range if you want to construct your own bespoke turnouts. The SM32 track system is designed with the idea of being outside in all weathers and is made of tough, durable plastic and top quality nickel silver, maintaining a stable track bed throughout the year when laid properly. Let's take a closer look at some of the examples of turnouts available. We start off with the streamline SM32 SLE691 right hand small radius turnout. Also available as a left hand turnout, the SLE 692. There's the Streamline SLE 695 right hand medium radius turnout. Again also available in left hand turnout, SLE 696. And finally there's the SLE 697 Y turnout. It's also good to note that all of these turnouts are electrofrog only. Next we're going to have a look at the SM32 wagon turntable and buffer stop kits. Before you start modelling you need the right tools to do the job and we recommend the Pico Tools Track Layers Toolset, the PT100 and the Kit Builders Toolset, the PT200. We would also be using poly cement and super glue for these kits. The first kit we're going to be looking at is the wagon turntable. We've laid out all the kit's components so we can familiarise ourselves with its parts. Working on a flat, firm surface, we cement the two of the four decking plate segments together, ensuring that they butt up tightly together properly and then assemble the two larger half semicircles together to form a flat disc. We then put it to one side and leave it to set, making sure it is flat. Now we remove the chairs from their mouldings and use a 2.4mm drill bit and pin vise to clear out the holes for the chairs. First we cement the inner row of the chairs into position, then position the rails and fit the outer chairs to hold them firmly in place. This should form a square of rail around the center. The outer mounted sections may be slid into place after the chairs have been installed, ensuring that the mitre ends butt up perfectly together. These rails may be secured with a drop of superglue if required. If you wish your turntable to operate and not to be fixed down, don't forget to add the bearing block moulding if required. Then cement the cover plate into position in the centre of the turntable. On the underside, blind holes are provided to enable locking levers to be attached. If these features are required, drill using a 2.4mm drill bit and a pin vise through the top of the surface and add the skip plates. And here we are, one finished turntable which we have painted to add an extra level of realism. 
Next we look at the SL640 buffer stop kit. We take a length of the SL600 track, then remove the sleeper tie of the last sleeper like this. Then attach two upright braces either side of the rail over the top of the free floating sleeper and super glue them together. Then repeat this with the other side. Then glue the two halves of the cross beams together and once they're dry, apply some more super glue to the four spigots and push to fit. There we have it. One nice, simple, robust buffer stop ready for any layout. So for those of you who are planning a new garden layout project, consider the SM32 track system or take a look at our other gauges available in the large scale Pico track series. Until the next time, we look forward to seeing you again on another Pico TV program in the future.